Now, we have this next person to thank for making things online easier to find. Uh, he conceived of and implemented the world's first internet search engine, pioneering many of the techniques uh, that our search engines, great and small, uh, use today. Uh, Mr. Alan Emtich. Thank you, everybody. Um, as you can see, I made it here from last night. Um, the, the, we, we, we weren't uh, diverted. Um, uh, I would like to thank the Internet Society. I am uh, honored and uh, humbled by this, uh, by this honor. Um, I am told by the Secretariat that uh, I am the first uh, Barbadian and the first person from the Caribbean to receive um, uh, be an inductee into the Hall of Fame, so I'm um, proud of that. Um, <laughs> as I look across the, the assembled uh, crowd here tonight, it's uh, gratifying to see how diverse uh, this is, uh, particularly, um, and how that has changed over the last uh, 30 years. Um, uh, I would like to, there are a couple of things I'd just like to say. Uh, we are in a, uh, we, the internet nowadays people think of as being this incredibly uh, competitive and commercial market. Um, for those of us who worked on it uh, 30 years ago um, and for whom commercial activity was actually forbidden, um, this is quite a change. And uh, uh, the, while the spirit of, um, altruism still continues to exist on the internet. Much of the internet works on uh, open source uh, software, which is contributed freely by programmers and engineers across the world. Um, that spirit of altruism started very early on, uh, and uh, it is, um, well, without blowing my own horn, uh, it the internet as we know it today wouldn't exist were it not for the uh, fact that a lot of the organizations and individuals who worked on it back then uh, freely uh, allowed their, their, the, the fruit of their work to be distributed uh, for free. So CERN uh, and the World Wide Web uh, uh, released the, the, that software into the uh, into the public domain. Uh, Way Brewster Kale, that was Tim Berners-Lee. Uh, Brewster Kale uh, did a similar thing with Thinking Machines and Waze, uh, Mark McCahill uh, and Gopher. Um, and ourselves, we, uh, I'll read a little story here. I had a conversation with Vint Cerf uh, probably 30 years ago, um, and he jokingly said to me, why don't you patent uh, the, the techniques that you're using in Archie for the search engine? And we thought about it. Uh, we thought about it long and hard, and we, we uh, decided that to do so would be would sort of strangle the baby in the crib, that it would restrict the ability of people to use what we had learned and to expand on it. So uh, the primary question I get is why am I, why am I not a billionaire? And I'm quite happy not to be a billionaire. That's, that's fine with me. Uh, but it was done in the spirit of, uh, of cooperation and, uh, and realizing that while we were working on something that was big and was going to change the world, I don't think anybody back then uh, really knew how much it was going to change and how profound uh, a change it was going to be. Uh, one, uh, two people I'd like to mention here uh, and thank for uh, me being here is uh, one is my business partner back then, uh, my boss and business partner with Peter Deutsch, uh, who did a lot of work to uh, bring Archie uh, into the wider world. And somebody else that a lot of the old timers here will remember um, and who was instrumental in what we call the user services layer of the internet when I first got to the IETF back in 1991. Uh, it was just it was a lot of engineers, and there wasn't a lot of attention paid to the users. Um, and that would be the person would be Joyce Reynolds. Um, uh, Joyce Reynolds, who is unfortunately no longer with us, uh, worked hand in hand with John Postel and really nurtured the uh, 
the, uh, the user services group in the IETF, and uh, she is, has a huge hand in uh, the, the internet that we know and love today, so I really would like to acknowledge her. So thank you, uh, I'm, I'm most, most honored.